Part 2 Blood Pressure Function Our circulation is similar to a highly sophisticated form of plumbing, blood has flow, and arteries are pipes. A basic law of physics gives rise to our blood flow, and this law also applies in a garden hose pipe. Blood flows through our body because of a difference in pressure. Our blood pressure is highest at the start of its journey from our heart, when it enters the aorta, and it is lowest at the end of its journey along progressively smaller branches of arteries. That pressure difference is what causes blood to flow around our bodies. Arteries affect blood pressure in a similar way to the physical properties of a garden hose pipe affecting water pressure. Constricting the pipe increases pressure at the point of constriction. Without the elastic nature of the artery walls, for example, the pressure of the blood would fall away more quickly as it is pumped from the heart. While the heart creates the maximum pressure, the properties of the arteries are just as important to maintaining it and allowing blood to flow throughout the body. The condition of the arteries affects blood pressure and flow, and narrowing of the arteries can eventually block the supply altogether, leading to dangerous conditions including stroke and heart attack. Measurement. When the pressure from the arm cuff stops the pulse briefly, it gives the top figure of arterial blood pressure that we are familiar with from medical dramas, for example, 140 over 90. The device used to measure blood pressure is a sphygmomanometer, it consists of a rubber armband, the cuff that is inflated by hand or machine pump. Once the cuff is inflated enough to stop the pulse, a reading is taken, either electronically or on an analog dial. The reading is expressed in terms of the pressure it takes to move mercury round a tube against gravity. This is the reason for pressure being measured using the unit millimeters of mercury, abbreviated to MMHG. Readings. A stethoscope identifies the precise point when the pulse sound returns and the pressure of the cuff is slowly released. Using the stethoscope enables the person measuring the blood pressure to listen out for two specific points. Blood pressure readings consist of two figures, the systolic pressure first and the diastolic pressure second. The reading is given as, for example, 140 over 90 mm Hg. The systolic pressure is the higher figure caused by the heart's contraction, while the diastolic number is the lower pressure in the arteries during the brief resting period between heartbeats. To be continued.